now none of you are old enough to remember, as I do, how Nixon's countrymen betrayed him. But was Richard Nixon really to blame? No. He was a target, a victim. Campus radicals needed a scapegoat to justify their own shoddy idealism. Mr. Hauser, you appear to be writhing in your seat. Is this a nervous condition? Oh, yes, it is. It's a nervous condition. What? No. No, it's, uh, it's, it's not a nervous condition. Oh. Mrs. Billings, I, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, no one destroyed President Nixon. The, the man destroyed himself with the secret bombings in Cambodia. He rigged a, a presidential election. The, the media didn't create that. He, he put it down on tape. You're not old enough to know who did what. That's my job. And the one thing I will not have in my classroom is anarchy. Anarchy? The man lied. He resigned a disgrace. I mean, is it anarchy to discuss the facts? Mr. Hauser, this is my classroom. I decide what are and are not facts. You, sir, are in my class. Please sit down. Mrs. Billings, we're all adults here. I mean, you seem like a fairly reasonable person. I mean, really, is it, is it your class or is it our class? It's our class, big brain. Sean, I didn't expect to see you back in here so soon. <laughs> 